Hey guys, Chris from Versus 3D here at 3D Printed Canada. Today, we are not going to talk about a printer or a print. Well, kind of a print. Anyway, um, I'm not doing an unboxing. Yes! Anyway, today we are going to talk about a product that assists with printing and assembling things and stuff. 3D Gloop. Let's have a look. All right, we're back. So um, there's a few different ways you can use 3D Gloop. I tested it a little bit at home and it works pretty well. So um, you can use it to adhere parts. You can also use it to smooth parts. Um, and the third way is you can use it for bed adhesion. So the bed adhesion test we're not gonna do today um, because that would involve a whole like printer and this is not a print video. So. Um, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to try uh, gloop with smoothing. So they make different kinds. This one is specifically for PLA. They also make an ABS version. Um, I haven't tried that one yet, but we're going to go with PLA. So safety first, wear rubber gloves. There are a, a lot of safety tips that these packages come with and it's nice to see that people care that we aren't going to drink this stuff. Wait, are we not supposed to drink this stuff? Maybe I'll try it later. All right, so I have my awesome blue gloves. Now I'm going to open her up. Also, it says do not inhale the vapors. So I'm not wearing a respirator. Now, one thing I did notice um, through a little internet searching is there people were saying that their brush is bent they actually do this on purpose because that way you can reach the bottom of the jar so if you buy some and your brush looks like this it's not bent it's supposed to be well it's bent but it's not broken it's supposed to be that way all right so i'm going to take this cat that i printed in the t-rex video and Apply some gloop. Now it says multiple coats. They give you this really cute little um, quick start guide too. But multiple coats that are thin. So I'm just gonna do one just to see. I'm not gonna do the whole cat. Okay, we'll call that done. Just to the back of his head. I'm gonna let it sit that dry. Let that sit there and dry. So now I'm gonna flip over my little quick start card. Now, I just printed out these two little handly type things just because I wanted to do like a really cool like super glue kind of test, but I didn't wanna hang from a helmet and get a girder. So I just decided to make little ones. Um, so they do suggest when you're gluing parts together to sand the parts, but I didn't bring sandpaper and I'm not gonna do that. So, I'm going to use the brush and just brush on some gloop. Apparently it's kind of like contact cement where you just put some on both sides and go. Now it is supposed to set very quickly and the cure time is also very short. So, we'll put that over here and we'll see what happens. Perfect. Also, 
quick tip it says, if you can smell 3D Gloop, your area isn't ventilated well enough. I can't smell it, so I think we're okay here. All right, now let's move on to some cool stuff. So they also sent a tube of 3D Gloop, which is used just like super glue. So you do the whole thing, you unscrew, you use the pointy cap guy. Oh yeah, that worked really well. All right, now we have some gloop. You might ask, what are we gonna gloop? Something cool. I printed the parts of a lightsaber. It's very difficult to do this wearing gloves. Here we go. Let's gloop it. So, very much like glue, you just glue it. So, I'm gonna just put, not a ton. Shove the parts together. Now I gotta remember how this goes. Like that, yep. Wow, it really does cure fast. I had a, had a dried gloop. And be careful not to use too much or else it will stick out the sides. It will, it will gloop out. <laughs> Come on, that was really bad, I know. Alright, which piece is next? Oh, here we go. Alright, so let's try just a little bit in here. I'm getting all this, it's all the glooping. Uh oh, there we go. some gloop in here. Oh, the gloves. You know what? I'm going to be a rebel. Safety be damned. All right. So now... You do have to work fast. So far we're good. Let me just make sure I put this together correctly before I actually glue it. Okay, that's how it works. Uh oh, I got it on my finger. Although it's my hand, it's not really that vicey. Make sure we're straight here. There we go. This is exciting, huh? I've never actually built one of these before. Well, unless you count at Disney, but those don't really count. Two more spots to gloop. It 
And the last piece. lightsaber. That's kind of cool. I thought it'd be interesting just to print it in the colors that it's, it's somewhat supposed to be, just because I had those colors kicking around at home, so why not? Ta-da! Alright, so we've glooped. Now let's see what we got. So it's been about 20 minutes since I glued these together, so now let's see what happens. Oops, maybe I did it wrong. I'll have to reinvestigate that. Okay, so we'll put those aside for right now. Let's go to the lightsaber. I'm not gonna pull this apart because this wasn't thin. This was actually a lot of gloop, but I think we're doing okay. Yeah, I can, there's a little bit of flex in there, but it's definitely, holding. I think we're okay there. Now I did go ahead and reapply a little bit more gloop to the cat and still a little bit wet. But you can see that it did smooth it out. So I think if you're going to do any printing and painting, this might actually be something really good. All right, so we're back once again. So I did a little reading of the instructions, which I missed. So apparently you have to shake well. I didn't. So you have to shake well. And also it takes about 15 minutes for a bond. It takes about 24 hours for a solid complete bond. So I'm pulling those apart right now Probably not the best idea ever, but you can see they're stuck together. So there's a bond there. Yeah, I mean, it's not going anywhere. So, but it does take 24 hours for full potency. Um, all right, so let's go to the cat. So I did add that second layer. It actually did, you know, it dulled it. Obviously you're gonna wanna paint this. I probably already said that but whatever you're smoothing, you're gonna to wanna to paint afterwards. But just with two light coats, it actually did a pretty nice job and it said apply multiple coats. So I think it would actually be pretty useful for that too. Um, much better than that other stuff that I bought ages ago and used once and never used it again because it was a pain. Anyway, I think this is a better solution. And to the lightsaber, again, I'm not gonna try pulling anything apart because it's only been a little bit and it is not fully cured yet. So there you have it. So 3D Gloop, from what I can see, it's pretty good. So remember it comes in a tube for PLA. I don't know if it comes in a tube for ABS. I don't think so, but I could be wrong. Comes in bottles for PLA and ABS. Uh, and also don't forget that there is the one thing that we didn't test today. We didn't test the bed adhesion. Um, you do, uh, from, from what I understand and from what I've read, uh, it's really, really great for ABS bed adhesion. I'm wondering maybe we could do another video at some point on bed adhesion for ABS on a non-enclosed machine. We'll see what they think here at 3D Printing Canada about that. Um, anyway, I like this product. I think, I, I don't know if I can, honestly rave about it and say, oh my God, it's so much better than using, you know, super glue or, or whatever. Um, you know, everyone has their own preferred glue. Don't know if this is any better. I guess I'll know in time when we test it out some more. So maybe we can come back and throw some comments down there. Speaking of comments, why don't you throw some comments down there in the box? And don't forget, you got to do this and then, uh, Hit the, the bell up there so you get notified when we post stuff and subscribe. I don't know where that one is. The bell might be over there. Anyway, who cares? So this is Chris from Versus 3D back here at 3D Printing Canada once again. 
bringing you a non-print video and a non-build video. Um, anyway, take care.